Okay, one more video, and this is going to go through rearranging your windows as well as using the variable editor. Okay, so if it defaults one way, I found myself going back and forth between the command window and the editor a lot. And so what I did was I grabbed the command window and I pulled it over here. So if you, you grab it where the gray is, and then you either move it to the center of something, in which case it becomes another tab, or you move it in between two objects and you can grab the border between them and kind of change which window is what the size of each window is going to be. So you can have as many windows if you want. If you um, double click on it, it becomes its own separate window where you can move it to like a second monitor or something. There's this little tab up here in the upper right hand corner, this dock widget. If you just click dock, it will pop back into the normal screen. So grab these things, drag them around, customize your work area to whatever is you know most convenient to work on for you. Okay, one more thing, the variable editor. So for this one, what you're gonna do, let me just make a couple of variables here. So X, I'll just do one that's a um, maybe a, a vector, maybe I do a two by two vector too. So Y equals, Okay, so there's two vectors. And if I play this, then they'll show up in my workspace. I've got a one by 91 array. So one that's just a really long row of numbers and a double. If I wanna see these vectors in like an Excel type format, I can right click on them in the workspace, say open in variable editor, and there's my X. So I have 94 columns, one to 10, one to 91, and as the name implies, variable editor, I can edit it here. So if I take this third element and renumber it from one point, so see how I just changed what this third element is here? I can come over to my command window now and say, what is the third element in that X? And see it's, it's changed now because I've edited it over here. Or if I wanna see another one, so right click, open in variable editor and you can show as many or as few as you want. So if I exit out of here, I can get it back by just right clicking and opening it back up again. And for Y, remember what that was, it was just a random number from zero to 10 on a three by three matrix. And so that's what we're seeing here is one, two, three, one, two, three, three by three matrix with random numbers. And again, for this one, I can come in here. Maybe I make this, down to and over to zero. So then if I come over here and say y of two comma two, it gives me this. So I can very easily open up vectors and modify numbers and see what's going on between. So that's the variable editor window is, is pretty handy too. Okay, so hopefully that'll help with opening up, making sure you can see all your windows over here in your editor, there's actually a couple view options for here. So there's some line endings and you can show um, white space characters. That's, I usually leave those off, but just click and unclick anything you want or don't want on there and play around with the, your windows, drag it to wherever you want it to be. So either into an area or between an area and get something that won't drive you nuts while you're working on it. So pay attention to which windows you're using most often for a project and set those up side by side and drag the, the size around so that everything is, is better for you.